Ladies and gentlemen, you've had Pop-Tarts before. It's a classic American treat that you can have for breakfast, lunch, or pretty much any time. Today, we're going to cook Pop-Tarts in a very special way, and that's called sous vide cooking, where you vacuum seal your Pop-Tart, or whatever food, and immerse it underwater. And it's going to cook at a very specific temperature to get it nice and perfect. For this experiment, we have four Pop-Tarts we're going to be working with. Pumpkin spice flavored. We're going to cook each of these Pop-Tarts in a different way. And at the very end, we're going to do a comparison of which one is going to taste the best. we got sous vide, the toaster, raw Pop-Tart, and of course the microwave. Which one do you think is best? Which one do you think will win? Let us know in the comments section below what your prediction is. And if you are right at the end of the video. We're going to seal these up in plastic bags real quick for freshness. Since the sous vide is going to take a little while longer, but are we going to put the sous vide Pop-Tart in a plastic bag? No! We're going to vacuum seal it using this food saver machine. First, we're going to make sure that we get a nice seal on that plastic tube. Then we're going to pull this out, slip the Pop-Tart right on in, slip it into the food sealer, and press that magic button. Ah! Vacuum packed to perfection and sealed off. Perfect. Next, we're going to clip it to this weight right here with binder clips. Pop-Tarts float, so you have to clip them. If you're using meat, you probably won't need to binder clip it to weights. Next, we're going to set up our sous vide machine right here in a pot. Some people like to use plastic containers for this. I prefer using a pot. Next, to fill it up with water, and we're going to top it off with a special lid that I like to use because I don't have a pot lid that fits around the sous vide machine. It's called ping pong balls. <laughs> And then we hit the play button on our sous vide machine, let it cook for a long time. We're going to undo it, take apart the machine, and see how our Pop-Tart turned out. Please take caution when you're using sous vide. The water is warm, and it's wet. So this Pop-Tart in the toaster, like so. And then this one will go in the microwave. Now to taste test. Raw tastes about what you would expect. The microwave one was gooey. I really like the microwave one. The toaster was gooey, but had a nice solid texture. The sous vide, well, we gotta open it out of this plastic bag here with our scissors. And we're classy, so we'll eat with a fork and a knife. And which one do you think was best? Well, it was the toaster, actually. <laughs> the sous vide was pretty good. But the toaster was just a lot faster and a lot better. Ultimately, if you use a sous vide, I recommend you just use tri-tip steak instead. It's the juiciest, it's roasted to perfection. All you gotta do is throw it on a hot pan on a stove top for about a minute on each side and you get a nice sear on it. Anyways, uh, final verdict. Just put your Pop-Tarts to the toaster. Sous vide's a little overkill. It's not worth the wait. But I would just recommend the steak. If you want to see more cooking content on my channel, please let me know in the comments below. Perhaps even like or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content in the future.